Hi, this is your host, Open Bharatiya, and welcome to another episode of Mainframe Matters. We are here at Open Mainframe Summit in Philadelphia, and today we have with us Venkat Pillay, CEO of CloudFrame. Venkat, it's great to have you on the show. Well, great to be here. Thank you, Sapnil. Yeah, first of all, tell us a bit about the company. CloudFrame, we started out with uh, looking at the mainframe modernization problem because uh, I've been in this space for quite some time. I've seen companies, especially during Y2K, when people said, we, you can get out of the mainframe, they are expensive, they're going to be difficult 25, 20, 25 years later. We're still here. And things haven't changed. And there is a reason for it because everybody sold this silver bullet. They said, there's going to be magic. You're going to, we're going to give you something that can get you out of the mainframe. And they were partly successful. But the second part where they were not successful is there were a lot of interdependencies and there, was, there were values on the mainframe that they realized, failed to realize that people are not willing to compromise on and difficult to get out with all the interdependencies. And the problem is a lot more com complex. So I said, the problem has to be solved differently. In CloudFrame, we came up with the concept that we have to solve a problem from the way people, the mainframe people think. They think of resiliency, they think of performance, they think of SLAs, they think of all the reliability that mainframe is providing. How can we give them all those things without disrupting their mission critical application, yet modernize their application? And that's the sea change uh, we brought in with the cloud frame. Excellent. When we talk about, you know, you talk about, you know, continuous modernization, you know, or modernization itself, of course, uh, mainframe technologies have been around for a very long time. You talked about there's a lot of misconception. The fact is that every transaction that we make goes through a mainframe. Without that, we will not you know, be able to run a successful economy as like a backbone you can call, a heartbeat, whatever you want to call it for the modern economies. But then we're also seeing you know, that being a technology that has been around for a while, it does have some problem of, you know, aging or whatever you call the term, it could be the UI can be looking, you know, kind of ancient. It also about the workforce, the experts that are there, they are reaching their retirement age, they want to retire and do something else. So there you have the problem to attract new developers, but to de attract them, you have to also kind of modernize the whole UI experience and so that they are able to use the things that they are using, CICD pipelines and gates and all those things. So when you look at the modernization challenge, what aspect is the most challenging one? Yeah, I think I don't see the UI part as being challenging just because I come from mainframe background, but I do see when the young people come in, they struggle from the mainframe point of view. But I think the bigger problem I see is from the business perspective. Business is looking, their requirements are changing rapidly. And they are looking at it and they are saying, I have a legacy application. The mainframe hardware is great. You have a latest and greatest. IBM is doing a good job upgrading the software, system software. But you still have an application that was written 30, 40 years ago. And it was a state-of-the-art application back in those days. Technology has changed. Methodology has changed. Practices have changed. So these languages, the newer languages, even though we call it newer, but object-oriented has been around for a long time. C, Java, and other languages, they are new paradigms. And those new paradigms are helping a lot to the company which are born in cloud. How can you take a company that was having a code 50 years ago developed and take advantage of, firstly, the resources that are born in the cloud, and secondly, the technology that is born in the cloud? Because you get a lot from those technology. You get a lot of open source, you get a lot of packages, a lot of benefit, a lot of new kids, coming in from the college. So uh, with, this is where I, we see the challenge, and this is where we are here to solve that problem. And the biggest problem you see is you have a mission-critical application on the mainframe, which cannot be broken. Nobody can take the risk. And you modernize. And as you modernize, your business is giving you new requirement. So you keep changing your mission-critical application. May not be that frequently, but yet there are changes. And those changes need to be reflected back on your modernized application. And then how do you validate all these things? And how do you validate it over different seasons? Because different functionality gets triggered in different seasons. For example, tax might trigger in a different flow versus year-end will trigger a different flow, or Black Friday sale event will trigger a different flow. All those event flow has to be validated in a newer, modern technology. 
and the validation is where majority of the modernization project fail. And you can see 70 to 80 percent of the modernization projects don't succeed because they either run out of the timeline or they are unable to validate the result sets. Right. Uh, the name of your company is CloudFrame. Uh, you're talking about you know hybrid work, uh, all those things. And once again, going back to the point of modernization, you know, you talked about a lot of you know, folks who were born in this cloud native era, a lot of companies were creating cloud native era. Sometimes, once again, a misconception is misconception can be that it's a mainframe versus cloud, or you know, but the fact is it will be mainframe and cloud native technology because there will always be even just in the cloud native world or cloud world, we talk about multi-cloud, we talk about hybrid cloud that you know running open stack on-prem. Or when you go to public cloud, you are leveraging AWS, Azure, and then you may also use alternative cloud providers like Linux, DigitalOcean, OVH. You know, you know the whole market is there. So depending on what you know industry you are, you will be leveraging mainframe and the technologies. So how do you look at that as well? Because once again, the whole point is there are a lot of folks who are going to use mainframe and modern cloud technologies. They do. They don't want these two worlds to be too separated from each other. They want them to be as close as possible to the developers they feel comfortable. And they should not be. I completely agree with you. It's, it's, it's a reality. We, got, we are living in a world where there's going to be a hybrid environment. So you have uh, the mainframe guys are used to this concept of WLM and workload management. And it's fantastic. It's part of the operating system. And operating system takes care of for you, everything, workload balancing, the priorities, and SLA. And you go into the cloud world, distributed world, all of a sudden you see the operating system doesn't take care of it. These are cheaper commodity machine. They are cheaper for a reason. You have to develop a lot of things. So a lot of open source software like Kubernetes are coming into picture, which are trying to fill in the gap that mainframe provided as part of the operating system. So now the software is providing that gap. Now, when you are in a world where you're in a hybrid world, you have a mainframe and you have a cloud, that is where we come into picture. We can actually take your workload manager WLM and merge it along with your Kubernetes. So you can bust your workload in and out of mainframe as and when you want it. There are companies, of course, they want to completely get out of the mainframe aspirationally. But to be practical, it's going to take a while before they will. And you're going to live with this hybrid world. And that's where majority of the challenges are going to come in. Right. But I think that world is very, very far you know, to fully replace. Yes. You know, it's going to be a very uh, long time because if we, 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 it's not just the US market or European market. We have Africa, we have Asia, we have Russia, we have China, we have India, you know, and a lot of companies, a lot of organizations, a lot of industries, they still rely on all these technologies. So they are not going to, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. And they got to think it slightly differently. They got to think is which platform is best for what purpose mm -hmm. and leverage the strength of the platform rather than being religious saying that this is the best platform. And that's where you came in, right? People are using AWS, people are using Azure, Google. People are using mainframe, but every one of those platform has a strength. And if you can figure out what is the strength you can leverage for each platform, you have a perfect hybrid cloud environment. If I ask you, you know, when the companies who do embark, you know, look at, you know, this modernization process is more or less like a kind of a journey that they have to take on. What are the right strategy? What are the right approaches they should adopt? so that you know, there are less challenges, less hurdle, and the ride is, is as smooth as possible? I think that's a great question because I, there are three ways you can do modernization. One is you can greenfield modernization. It says, I'm going to go in as if things did not exist. Take the current situation as if I'm born in cloud, redo everything that was done 40 years ago. Very impractical, works great as an aspiration, works in a small application. And then you have a brownfield application where it says, I'm just going to re-platform it. I'm just going to move my application from mainframe to something just as is with a minimum amount of changes. But my question is, what are you getting out of it? Why, why not just mainframe, right? It's a great platform. Just stay there if you're still going to maintain in the old, like, old way, uh, COBOL world. And the third one is blue development, where you're going to say, I'm going to partially move part of it to the different platform, partially keep it maybe on the mainframe. mainframe. But I want to modernize the mission critical application, which might be 10%, 15%, 20%. So I'm not boiling the ocean. And that's the most practical strategy. And where the challenges usually I come comes in all this, uh, all this modernization is you're trying to change the tire of a car while a car is running. 
you have a mission critical application, you have to serve your business, you cannot get down. That's why mainframe is good, it's reliable, but you have to modernize. So how you continuously modernize, where you continuously transform to the newer language, continuously validate it and fit into your DevOps pipeline. So you have a continuous integration as a modern agile paradigm, continuous deployment, and then you add two more cogwheels on it, which is continuous transformation and continuous validation. And the only way you can do it is you automate these things. And not just the quantity, automate gives you quantity, it's the quality of the transformation is extremely important. And there are many ways people can do it. You can do it, you can bring in a systems integrator who can do rewrite, give you great quality because they are manually doing it. You can bring in a transformation or conversion tools which will give you quantity, but the quality may not be good. Or I think this is where the challenge is. And some of it you're gonna see as part of the cloud frame is we manage the quantity because of automation and we also manage the quality. Uh, Venkat, thank you so much for taking time out today and uh, talk about this, you know, very contemporary topic, you know, modernization is really, you know, we have been talking about digital transformation in the regular industry for so long. So it, it's good to talk about, you know, this as well right now, because uh, as you said, there are a lot of misconceptions, but the fact is that mainframe is still, you know, runs and, but people do have to, you know, juggle the balls between two different words, or many words, multiple, you know, environments there. So thanks for sharing all those insights and I'd love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Oh, thanks for having me here. It was great. Appreciate it.